You will have heard that overnight New Zealand time there have been explosions at the Hamid Karzai International Airport in Kabul, Afghanistan. US military forces involved in the international operation to secure the airport and assist with the evacuation of foreign nationals and refugees were killed in this terrorist attack. New Zealand's thoughts and condolences are with those who helped us to get our citizens and visa holders home, and the government has relayed our deepest appreciation and sadness to the US government who is mourning their loss. Our thoughts are also with all of those in Afghanistan who have lost lives or suffered injuries in this attack. We strongly condemn this despicable attack on many innocent families and individuals who were vulnerable and simply seeking safety. I can confirm that no New Zealand Defence Force personnel were in Kabul at the time of the explosions as they had all safely departed on the final flight. NZDF have also confirmed that no New Zealand evacuees were left within Kabul airport. I'm advised that MFAT are actively working to make contact with all those that were known to them that may have been within the region or within the vicinity or proximity of the airport. For days there have been warnings that the situation in Afghanistan was deteriorating, warnings that we had shared. Also that there was a serious threat of a terror attack and that the window for our evacuation operation was closing. Given the situation on the ground, that window has now closed. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade remain in close contact with New Zealand citizens and permanent residents in Afghanistan who had previously registered on safe travel or otherwise made contact. Yesterday, all those known to have been in Afghanistan were advised by NFAT of the quote, ongoing and very high threat of a terrorist attack and warned not to go to the airport and to leave the airport if they were nearby. Given this advice and the subsequent attack, operational considerations have now dictated the necessity to end further flights into Kabul. Allies involved in the operation in recent days are in the same situation as us, and together we will now look to see how we can support those seeking to leave Afghanistan to do so. That will, by necessity, need to be an international effort that New Zealand is a part of.